Hey Rita, I know you had a couple questions about warming up at a rodeo and I hate to say this, but they're probably all going to be that way, especially if you're like in your slack or any type of the pro rodeos or winter rodeos, warming up is really hard. I've had to do it even on concrete before, but it's just enough to get his muscles warmed up and moving and really get to know, you know him well enough too, is how much to jack him up, how much to cool him down, how much, you know, and the more you do it, the more you're going to figure it out. So don't worry about that. What I really love about this run is he had a really nice approach to first. He got a little bit far up the pin, but that's okay. He still recovered really nice. He didn't lose much time. But if we look right here, he's already starting to anticipate that second barrel. And you are looking right at the second barrel the whole time and starting to hold him off right as you're leaving first. Uh, so if we watch here, what he does is he does a si weird side step and then you pull him off and you do save that second barrel, luckily. Um, but by the skin of your teeth, and then everybody watch this one when she goes in here and smokes that third barrel. This is why you need to be rodeoing on him because this is not an easy barrel to hit. See how the first barrel's out in the middle of nowhere, and he just ate that thing up. You should have no trouble doing this, that exact same barrel, on the second barrel as well. And you also were worried about him firing. Like he's. And, she was also wondering about her being an aggressive rider, if she needs to be more aggressive with him or if that's going to help him or if it's going to hinder him. What I feel is going to happen is I just like to see you guys outgoing more and making more runs together and being more confident because the more confident you're going to be with him, the more you're going to get turns like this one right here. So it's not really about being more aggressive. It's about being more assertive and having the confidence with each other because he obviously didn't have that after the first barrel, which you had a little trouble at state final, so you might have had that. See right here, you're looking right at the barrel. We want to be looking over more towards the fence. Um, so I can see how you'd still have that in your mind going into this rodeo, and it's like, it's a really fun rodeo. Um, but those are things that it's just going to have to take time to get over, and you're going to have to fix like almost in your head. And it's not even about you being an aggressive, like, 10-year-old girl like we used to be. It's more about being confident in where you're going to take that huge muscle horse of yours. <laughs> so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Don't get too beat up about it. I want to see you hauling more and going. And I think a lot of the things will straighten out and you'll get an, an, into a really nice routine with him. And especially the rodeos kind of psych some people out. And you, you do have some nice winter rodeos coming up where he'll, he will be more ratey and hard to get around that barrel, especially like, let's say if you go to Fargo or something like that, because then the barrel is right on the fence and it's a really tiny pattern. So think about it and try and get him a little bit more freed up to the second barrel. And make sure that he's staying nice and square and doing nice straight lines. But this is just awesome. You got a lot to look forward to.